Hi, this is Zach from HallwayTechnology.com and this is my first video, so bear with me. We're going to talk about the difference between dual core and quad core on the new Samsung Galaxy S3. So, right away everybody was going to think, oh, wow, quad core is definitely better. Well, that's not always the case. It depends on what you're going to be doing with the phone and who's using it. So, Obviously, quad-core is going to be faster. You have two more processors than the dual-core. But the dual-core is backed up by 2 gigs of RAM, whereas the quad-core is backed up by 1 gig of RAM. Now, in some cases, people want the 2 gig, and so they'll go with the dual-core, and then they'll be disappointed because they don't have the quad-core. The international version has the quad-core processor, but only 1 gig of RAM. Now, if you have AT&T version or the Sprint version, you'll get the dual core with the 2 gigs of RAM. Now, in my opinion, I would go with the international version and go with the quad core with 1 gig of RAM because it's going to faster, work better with 3D graphics shown in the benchmark test and all that. But also, the, if you're with AT&T or Sprint, then, and you get the that version, then you're going to be stuck with the dual core and 2 gigs of RAM, which is not a problem but you need to know that in some cases one is going to be better than the other. It all depends on how you're using it, what you're using it for, and who's using it. Now I'm a very big Samsung guy. I love Samsung products and they're better than most Samsung or most tablets and smartphones that I've seen. Um, and there's a Mac behind me so it's kind of offset in here but I have the Samsung Infuse 4G that I've had since October of last year, I think. And I have the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 and the newest and only Samsung Smart Camera that just came out. So, and I love both, all three of these products. The only downside is Android doesn't update all its products at once. So, as you can tell, I'm very big on Samsung, so I talk highly of Samsung, but this is all for you to make your own opinion. Now, Samsung has always made good products and such, and as far as I've researched and seen and played with the Samsung Galaxy S3, I haven't seen any or had any problems with it, but there is the only problem I've seen so far is with the international version, there was an incident where a lady had it plugged into her car dock and the top by the headphone jack blew up. Nobody in Samsung was looking into that um, and so a lot of the Samsung Galaxy S3s get put on back order but they'll be out in stores soon enough. So, off of the Samsung Galaxy S3 Everybody's craving for Samsung or Android 4.0. Everybody wants Android 4.0 on all their Android and Samsung Asus whatever tablets that run Android. And supposedly on the Galaxy Tab 7, Galaxy Tab 8.9, and Galaxy Tab 10.1 this July, which is starting tomorrow, will be coming out with an update for those three tablets for Ice Cream Sandwich. Now the Galaxy Tab 10.12 has it already and you can get that at Best Buy um, and that's the only place I think you can get it as of right now. And that's already running Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0. So hopefully with all of the tablets coming out to that more people will be happy. Now upsetting for me is that the Samsung Infuse 4G will not be getting the update. That is sad because a lot of people love the Samsung Infuse even though it did have its glitches and I just had to get a new one. But that goes to show Android does have its issues and all the updates are fixing them. So if you have any of the Samsung Galaxy tabs you can look forward to that update. It's late, mid to late July and you'll be able to enjoy ice cream sandwich on your Android tablet. So, see you guys next time on Hallway Technology.